Hey guys, back in the snake room here. Um, do a quick little video here. Um, I just got home from work, so it's about 4.30 in the morning right now. Um, but clutch number one of the 2017 season is here. So you can see we've got one kick out here. Um, hopefully that's a good egg. This is a um, cinnamon fire female. She's been holding out on me for a couple days. She was due in... She, or she was due on, I think, April 18th, and now it's May 3rd, I think. So I was getting a little worried. And, of course, it's the first clutch of the season that uh, you're always waiting the most for. And then, of course, the floodgates will open, and I'll have more eggs than I know what to do with. But, uh, yeah, I thought I'd just shoot a little video and show you this. Um, so over here we've got our vermiculite already mixed up. You... Uh, veteran viewers of of any ball python videos you already know how to mix this up um, the ratio i use is one to one by weight so in here i've got 250 grams of vermiculite and then i put in 250 grams of water uh, mix it up and of course you know what you're looking for is you want to grab it so it balls up uh, but no water leaks out um, pretty standard stuff for ball python breeding um, and that that goes for most python eggs as far as I understand, but uh, yeah, so let's let's take this egg here Put it over here And we'll see this is a small female um, She laid four last time, so Looks like she's got at least three there Yeah, okay, so same size clutch as the last one she laid just four eggs So put this one over here as well Let's get our egg box in here so you can see so like I said this is a wow these just feel a little sticky she must have just finished I hope she's finished she looks pretty hollow yep we'll give her a palpate when uh, when I put her back in after I give her a little bath um, yeah so she's a, a fire cinnamon and she was bred to a couple different males Gotta check her card here actually so she was bred to the Butter Sterling male, Silver Bullet, and Super Stripe male. So, we'll see who got her last. So, the Super Stripe got her last. Um, but the Butter Sterling got her the most. So, we'll see. Any Anyway, we'll uh, get a cool clutch regardless of what the father is. Or maybe we'll get a multi-sire. I have a seem to have a knack for getting that to happen. Most times when I breed a female to multiple males, I do get... Um, multi-sire clutches. I, I thought it was kind of a rare thing um, when I first started breeding, but it seems to happen almost every time for me. So, but yeah, um, you guys know the rest. You've seen me do this a bunch of times. I'm just gonna wash her up and get her some fresh bedding, some fresh water, clean her tub, and everything. Uh, get these in the incubator and get them all labeled up. But you guys have seen me do that, and I'm a little tired after a 12-hour shift, so um, I'll spare you the details. But We'll go into more in-depth with uh, the rest of the clutches as they start flowing in. Um, you can see all my post-it notes and stuff over there on the breeder racks. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six females that have had their prelay sheds, and I'm just waiting on eggs. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight females that were waiting for their shed. And then a few others that we're waiting on ovulations, and I've got a very f select few that are still being paired. So it's going to be a big season, and you guys will be here for the ride. All right, thanks for watching, guys.